Jim O'Farrell couldn't be happier his days of touring are behind him. I started off with uh, listening to Gordon Lightfoot and Creedence Clearwater Revival. Jim's journey as a professional musician did not include cheap motels, smoky clubs, and small towns. For my earliest memories, I have a guitar in my hand. His two plus years on the road included stops in Fallujah, Ramadi, and Baghdad. And we ran uh, escort operations and gun truck patrols all over the entire country. We were everywhere. Jim survived two harrowing year-long tours in Iraq in 2005 and 2008. When an IED hits, it just suddenly it blows up each deployment. And in order to be an effective leader, you can't say, go get them. You have to say, follow me. Jim led dozens of young men, some just 18, into battle. The nickname for a platoon sergeant is platoon daddy. And uh, it's, a, it's an affectionate term that they never say to your face. Enormous pressure came with his job. I always appreciated the fact that those were my troops, that they were somebody else's sons. Um, parents were entrusting their kids to me. He used his instrument as an escape behind closed doors. I was a platoon sergeant, so I couldn't let the guys see the platoon sergeant rocking out, you know, just not the image they needed to see. But that changed. Uh, you'd feel the adrenaline just pour completely out. He soon found himself offering guitar guidance following dangerous missions. It was a very good relief. It was a good way to sort of break completely away and disengage mentally and emotionally from what was outside the wire. Never said goodbye. Jim's passion for music intensified on the battlefield. His experiences flowed onto paper. I wrote this song uh, while I was in Iraq uh, on my second deployment. With 28 years of military service behind him, Jim is embarking on a new mission. Yeah, I guess I don't look like the Ranger. I look more like the, the hippie Woodstock guy than the Army Ranger now. And that's cool. I dig it. <laughs> Jim is now leading a new group the men of the Jim O'Farrell Band, or the J-O-B. When we do a show, we don't take breaks. No matter where his music career takes him, the days of his other tour dates will never fade. I hope it always stays with me. Uh, it, it's, it would be a shame to forget Iraq. It was, it, I think it was a very important part of, of me. I'm not alone.